Paytech Wellness fans, today we're measuring the level differences of RF radiation or wireless energy coming from a flip phone and an iPhone. So right now we've got this meter that I like because it makes noise and it gives you a visual readout and this meter which allows us to see the maximum power density of RF radiation in a numeric form. So right now this is just the ambient radiation. I'm going to turn on the flip phone and first thing I'm going to do is to show you something that's important here is signal strength. So this phone tells us our signal strength and right now it's saying it's fair which I'm going to interpret to be possibly two or three bars. Now I'm going to make a phone call and we'll connect here and let's watch these meters and see what happens. Whoa. Okay, definitely we're seeing that we're, this is measuring signal over here. I'm going to turn this down because it's a little annoying. Uh, but now we're in the office and that phone call has been connected. You can see it's measuring the actual signal here and we're at 13.18 now. The really great thing about a flip phone is that when it's off, it's off. There's no energy. It's not looking for signal. It's not sending and receiving texts or messages. So once this phone is closed in your pocket, it's a lot safer. Okay, now let's look at the iPhone. First, we'll take it off airplane and immediately, you'll see, it's sending out and receiving signal. The Wi-Fi is off, the Bluetooth off, and so it's a really good direct comparison. And now we'll make a phone call and watch how that changes. Oops, started to dial the number there. Here we go. There, see, we're at the office, we're making a phone call. Again, measuring the RF radiation and the signal, we have three bars. And so we're seeing that the signal is allowing this phone not to have to work as hard as the flip phone did when it was having a fair to poor signal. So that's great. Remember, always make sure you have at least three bars. Four to five would be better. What I want to point out here is when you saw the difference in levels between the flip phone and the iPhone, you have to remember the signal strength. The signal strength was so much greater with the iPhone, which made the radiation or power density lower. But if we're looking at overall safety, once you flip that flip phone closed, no energy whatsoever coming from it. With an iPhone, you've got the Bluetooth, you've got the Wi-Fi, and you've got signal constantly being emitted unless it's on airplane mode or completely off.